What's up, beautiful people? It's Ms. Go here, and today we have some major news. I mean, major news. Someone called the cops because is going down today. Now, there are three things that you cannot miss out on. First, we're going to talk about some new Figma features. Second, I'm going to be making a cheeky announcement before the official announcement next week. So if you are watching this video today, right now, you are in for a treat. Believe me, treat. And then we're going to wrap this video up with five Figma plugins that you cannot miss out on. So let's get right into it, guys. Now, when you are inside Figma, you should have this update already. If you hit forward slash on your keyboard, the one right next to the shift on the right hand side where the question mark is, this will open up live messaging. So Figma has brought this over from Fig Jam. So if, you, if you've ever used Fig Jam, it's their whiteboarding tool within Figma's environment. They've brought this feature over because now you don't need to go hit T, type to a designer that's also collaborating you on this file with a text tool, you can simply hit forward slash and just say, hey there, good looking. They'll see that, then they can respond to you. So quick messaging. Now the second feature that they've brought over into Figma is audio. It hasn't been rolled over just yet. They did mention in their announcement that it will come through within 24 hours time, but if there is another designer inside the same file, eventually there will be an icon for a headphone. And once you see that icon, you can click on the icon and it will bring you guys into an audio chat room where you can literally communicate and talk to other designers or stakeholders inside a Figma file or within the Figma environment. This saves you having to open up Slack or Zoom to set up a new call. So those are the two new features that you should get access to within 24 hours. All right, now onto the cheeky announcement. Let me bring this over to you guys because I'm sure you'll appreciate it. So six days ago, I launched the new thedesignship.com website, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is this, the Figma and UI masterclass. Now, if I click into this, let me give you a bit of a backstory. Within eight months, my YouTube channel has helped over 500,000 designers and developers trying to learn Figma and design. And in total, my videos have been watched over 40,000 hours. And with that being said, that is thousands of comments and thousands of questions. So that is why I created my very own masterclass course where I pretty much show you end to end how to use Figma in a real project. So I actually did a client project for a five day sprint, documented that project, that exercise, that process, and I pretty much walk you through step-by-step step on how to do it. Building a design system from scratch, using the, the design system to build out highly responsive components from scratch, how to manage your components, how to manage your file, how to document a design for developer handover. Pretty much everything that you need to understand within Figma is in this course. And we've already had over 400 students jump into this course. Three have already graduated and you can actually learn about the experience on this page. So if you want to check it out, I have left a link in the description. If you want to get access to it right now, we are running early birds. So it is at $98 right now. It will get to 158. We're increasing the price for, of $10 for every 50 new students that signs up. This is the early bird discount period. So if, as you scroll down, I've got a video to walk you through exactly what's inside as well. Um, here's some students. You can see that there's an overview. I pretty much break everything down. This hasn't been updated. We've actually got 400. I woke up this morning. We had another 50 join last night. Um, the curriculum is down here. So you also have a breakdown of pretty much exactly what's inside this course. Um, you can see the reviews as well. These are the reviews of people who have pretty much nearly completed it or have completed it. So Danny has completed it, uh, Juan has completed it, and also uh, Safak has also completed the course. Then you also get a certificate at the end. So here's a little bit of an Easter egg. You can pop in your name, you can hit enter on your keyboard and voila, celebrate time. You get your little certificate, digi digital one sent to you. And then you've got some additional asset um, resources here. So you get all the resources, you get all the templates, 
Um, and you also get to be part of the designership community where you have exclusive access to the Figma Masterclass channel where you can ask questions, talk to other students as well. Now, this is a very cheeky announcement that I'm making in this video. I will be making a much more official announcement next week, but if you want to get in on that early access, that discounted period, make sure to check that link in the description below. Now with that wrapped up, let's jump into five Figma plugins that you are absolutely going to love. So I'm gonna head over into my Figma. Oh, and by the way, this is actually the resource uh, project file within the course. And this is actually one thing that you are going to create with me as well. So we'll be designing this from scratch with a design system literally every step of the way. And we'll be creating this as well as part of the project. Just thought I'd show you that um, as part of this video. All right, so onto the very first plugin that we are going to be talking about. Hit plugins, I'm gonna show you design lint. So what I have to do is I'm gonna have to go ahead and select an artboard. And I'm gonna select this artboard over here. I can hit run design lint. And what this will do is it will help me find anything that is not connected to a style in my actual design file. So what this means is that if I click into this uh, arrow over here, you can see that this file has a, uh, this layer has a background of white, right? But it's not associated to an actual text style or a fill style or a stroke style. And to create consistency in your designs, you should always be utilizing uh, an actual style. Now, obviously this is broken because I've detached the design system. This was originally uh, connected to a white a style, but you can see everything else is connected to other styles, but with these ones that aren't, it will bring this up as an error, so it will force you to actually go through your, your file and make sure everything is connected to your design systems or established styles within your Figma file. That is a very powerful tool. Now, the second plugin that we're gonna go through is Figma Measure. This one is perfect for design a handover. Now, it is a little bit complicated. It can get quite funky. So let me just double click into one of these tabs um, and show you exactly how this is done. Now, you can see that I've got a nested uh, set of tags inside this auto layout. And when you click on an element, you get this visual over here. It's quite daunting, but let's break it down uh, step by step. So starting from the inside first, you can actually, if you click on the horizontal axis, it will give you the measurements of the actual um, tab. Vertical will give you the, the vertical measurement as well, like how tall it is, so I'll turn these off now. And then when you click on this one over here, this one actually gives you the spacing between this element and the parent element as well. So you can see if I hover on tags, this groups the entire tags, like all the tags together. And because I've hit right on here, this shows the measurement to the bounding box, okay? So that's what it measures. So if I hit the top one, it should say like probably zero or like two, four, yeah, four pixels because there's a four pixel padding around this element over here, right? Then you can also uh, click on this actual uh, tooltip and it will give the tooltip of all the measurements for this little icon over here. And pretty much if you click on two, while holding on shift and I select two items, it extends this visual, right? So let me just deselect one. You can see it, it reduces it. If I click on this one again, it adds a new layer. So what this means is that if I click on this line, this will show me the space in between each element. As you can see, eight pixels. So if I turn that off, it will reduce, uh, it will turn off the eight pixels. Wait, there we, there we go. Well, actually, give me one second. There we go. So it turns it off. So this is a very powerful tool if you wanna document your designs for handover. Now the third plugin that you definitely need to check out is Quantizer. So let me just quickly go over to this section over here and let me just go plugins and hit Quantizer. Whoops, let me just highlight the uh, images. So there's going to be a time where you've got a scattered amount of images or elements on a page. What you wanna do is you get you highlight them all, uh, click on, uh, highlight them all and then click on plugins and then go to Quantizer. You can then actually order them into a table or into columns or rows. So I can go two columns with a uh, column gap of 30 and row gap of 30. Boom, voila. Manages, cleans up your files, easy. So that's a great one as well. And then we also have into inside plugins, status annotations. So clicking into status annotations, this will bring up a little modal. If I, let's say this has been documented and this has been finalized, 
you can use the status annotations to annotate your design. So it could be in review, or it could be approved, or it could be developed, or it could be complete, or it could actually be in progress. So this is a great way for you to document your designs. Now, my personal preference is that I wish these were a little bit larger because they're quite small, especially when you have a lot of designs actually here. That's why I use my own massive tags over here because it's just much easier to see than this little tiny thing over here. But if you wanna use a plugin for it to make it quick and easy, you can. And then the last but not least plugin is table generator. Now, I don't know if you use auto layout to create your tables, I personally do, but if you want a very quick table generator because they can be very time consuming to make, you can pretty, pretty much say, I want a table with four rows and two columns, right? Two columns with the height and width of whatever and whatever, you can hit create and you pretty much have a table and you can just go in and you can change it to whatever you want. You've got all the adjustments over here, you can change the text and you can change the frames, you can even potentially turn it into an auto layout, voila, turn this into an auto layout and you can probably turn this into an auto layout and you can just simply duplicate these and you can probably make, it, make more tables, done. So really powerful tool, really quick to create tables as well. So hopefully you found this video extremely useful. It's packed with Figma news. And if you are interested in my Figma Masterclass course, make sure to check the link in the description and I will see you in the next video very soon.